isn't it wild there was a time that people just fixed their stuff and didn't just go out and replace it my son damaged the game card reader in his nintendo switch and i'll admit i wasn't exactly stoked about it when he first told me but once i found out you can just order a game card reader off amazon i felt a lot more lighthearted and maybe even excited about this and then I watched a YouTube video by Bizarre Repairs, and I realized that I could totally replace this myself. I don't know about you, but not having that fuck you kind of money has made me very resourceful. But then again, it's kind of hard not to be when you can literally learn anything off of YouTube. The investment to fix this myself was about $30. The new game card reader was probably about $22. I did have to spend $9 on a special Y-shaped screwdriver to take off the back of the switch. And then $1.25 at the dollar store or the $1.25 store for a mini screwdriver kit. This is not a how-to video. This is more of a diary entry on my part. So go find a YouTube video if you need to know how to do this. And of course, make sure that the game card reader is actually broken. Don't just go take your switch apart. It's possible your Switch may just need a software update. It could be one card itself that's damaged. In my case, there was little loose metal pieces in the game card slot itself, so it was kind of obvious that it was broken. This is not something that I normally would do. I am not a tech wizard. In fact, I am horrible with computers. I've been a stay-at-home mom for the past six years. However, it was so much fun doing something outside of my comfort zone. This reminded me of how much I enjoyed taking my quad apart a couple of summers ago. I completely removed everything off the bike. I cleaned out the carburetor, the gas tank, the fuel filter, placed the spark plug, drained the coolant. I did an oil change on it and then I realized I also needed to do the clutch plates and that would have been way easier with no oil in it. I could have just tipped the bike over to the left side and still done it, but for some reason that caused me so much resistance and I just stopped. And I've also been thinking a lot about my kids' quads. Uh, my husband works a lot, he has a long commute, and he just doesn't have the time to mess with them and get them started again. And I kind of want to do it myself. I'm a little intimidated because it does sound like it might be a wiring issue with their bikes. But hey, who says I can't learn electrical stuff? over YouTube. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing put back together. I finally have the new game card slot on and for some reason this seemed like the worst part was getting all those little tiny screws back on. Real time, this took just over 45 minutes to complete. My biggest worry putting this thing back together is the touch screen still being functional. While I was reading the reviews of the game card reader itself, I saw a lot of complaints saying that their touchscreen was no longer working after they installed the part. So that is definitely something I'm thinking about right now as it is getting put back together. Not to mention the old game card reader versus the new game card reader it didn't exactly look identical. It occurred to me that there are different generations of switches at this point. Moment of truth, let's power this baby back up. And it was a success, the touchscreen works. But does it read game cards? There is a lot of anticipation here and it works. My son can now use his Switch again. It cost me $30 and I learned a new skill and just look how happy this little guy is.